What are the best FAA Part 107 practice test questions out there? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Heather Monthe. I am a flight instructor and founder of Electric Monarch Drone Education, where we help people pass the FAA Part 107 exam and also start and grow their drone business. So in this video, what I wanted to do is share with you from my perspective as a flight instructor, what are the best FAA Part 107 practice tests that are out there? So I want to start with this. The FAA does not release the test bank of questions. They do not sort of you know, say, here are the thousand or so questions that we pull your test exams questions from. Okay, So they do not release those test banks. Um, what they do is they provide you the Airman Certification Standards. And I have a video on how to use that Airman Certification Standards to create your own sort of study path. But they provide that Airman Certification Standards as a guide to tell you exactly what you're going to be tested on in the Part 107 exam. So they don't necessarily release the exact questions. They don't want you to memorize the question. They want you to know the content. They want you to be able to look at it and, and, and make the right decision. Okay? The FAA also does not want people to go and take the test and then immediately go out to their car and write down as many questions as they can remember, okay, so that they can share it with other people. That's not uh, something that they want you to do either. So there are some companies out there that have created practice test banks that I think are really closely related to what you will see on the Part 107 exam. Okay? Now, I've got three different options here for you. One is an online resource. Um, if you go to my website at flyelectricmonarch.com, I've got this article with the links and everything. I'll make sure to put this in the description of this video as well. Um, but the first one is King Schools. So King Schools is really a leader in aviation education. So it's not just particular to drones. They do all sorts of uh, aviation education for pilots, um, mechanics, etc. All right. They have a free exam portal. Um, so if you click on this link right here, they have a free exam portal where you can create your own customized practice test. And this is a really great way to sort of simulate what you will have on test day. It is a computerized test that you will have on test day. And on test day, you have 120 minutes to complete 60 questions. So they're telling you this here. So what you can do is if you've only got a few minutes to take a test, you could put in there that you, know, you want to take 10 questions. So because you get two minutes per question on this practice test, you'll get 20 minutes to complete this test. Then what you can do is you can select the different categories. These are pulled directly from the Airman Certification Standard. So if you really want to practice airspace weather minimums and charts, you could get 10 questions on airspace weather minimums and charts. Um, if you want to have 10 questions on regulations, you can just check the box for regulations. All right. Pretty self-explanatory there. Um, what I do suggest doing is as you are practicing for this, you know, just take you know, a couple minutes every day and work through some of these questions. But then as you are getting real to like, OK, I'm ready to take this test. Come here and give yourself 60 questions from all six different categories here and practice it like you're actually taking the test. Okay. And then what you'll do here, once you have all of your criteria set here, you're going to click on start test and it gives you a timer. So this is a very realistic way to practice the exam like what you will see on test day. So let's see if we have any questions here right here. So right here it says refer to figure 15. So if I click on figure 15, it opens up a diagram um, of a TAF, all right? So you might get one of an airspace chart. You might get some other type of weather uh, diagram, things like this, all right? On test day, you will be given a, a, you will be given a book. It's the Airman Knowledge Testing Science in this book. So you would turn to figure 15 in the book and then answer the question. On the King School exam practice test, it puts the item right on the screen there for you, okay? Uh, I have two other options that are in a book format. So the first is GLIME and the second is ASA. ASA stands for Aviation Supplies and Academics. GLIME and ASA are another, they're other leaders in aviation education. GLIME does a lot of test prep for a lot of different areas. They do stuff for like accounting and all this kind of thing, uh, but they also do aviation. Um, and so I've got a link here for you for a book. Bring up the Amazon link. You want to make sure that you have the most current one. It's going to have all of the different questions that they've created for you, and it's going to have the answers, and then it's going to also tell you why the other answers are not correct, okay? And ASA has got the same thing here. We've, you know, they're, 
their book here. Um, it's the same thing. So they have got uh, a set of questions that they have put together and it will give you um, the question and then it will give you the answer, explain why that's the right answer. And then it will explain why the other answers are not correct. Okay. So these are the three resources that I as a flight instructor really recommend that you use for practice tests. When you are preparing for the part 107 exam, when you're consistently getting 80%, like if you go to these King schools ones, or even if you're doing the, the manual ones in the book, if you're getting 80% consistently or higher, you're probably ready to take the test. 70% is required to pass the test, but I have sort of a rule of thumb is once you're getting 80% or higher consistently on the practice test, you're ready to take the exam. So those are the three resources that I recommend. Good luck and talk to you in the next.